wake up sleeper or sleep eternally. Dear brother or sister who listens to me, it is time to wake up to the reality in which we find ourselves. Do you not see how the morals of human beings are collapsing? What does this mean in the eyes of God? Do you think we are pleasing the divine justice? And surely you will agree with me that we are in a world where sin reigns, where the rulers are no longer governed by divine laws as before, where corruption reigns in all government positions, where atheism reigns and seeks new laws to destroy everything that has to do with God. And what a shame, where so many religious scandalize us with their bad example. Look how the laws are in favor of the sinner. Look how abortion, which offends God so much, is legalized in all nations of the world, the same as euthanasia. Look how the laws are in favor of gender ideology and defend the wicked who pervert the minds of children. Look how laws come out that allow adults to have relations with minors. Look how parents have already lost the right to educate their children, the right to teach them the commandments of God, the right to punish them if they do wrong, as the Lord asks in His Word. Look how the laws are in favor of disobedience and even have the audacity to affirm that our children are property of the state. What has this society come to? The wicked are welcome in government positions because they have money, influence, and are food for the corruption that reigns. On the other hand, the good rulers, those who aspire to democracy, are despised, judged, slandered, and publicly discredited in huge publicity campaigns by the communist and atheist elites that are part of the world order. World governments are in the hands of a corrupt few who establish mandates that annihilate human dignity. Proof of this is the present pandemic that has given strength to the authorities to crush the people with unnecessary restrictions, with treatments that destroy the immune system and make it more prone to contract new diseases, with the imposition of immunization passports that do not guarantee that people will not get sick again. On the contrary, they enslave people to be controlled by governments and rob them of all the privacy of their medical history. What kind of world is this new world? It is the world where the mark of the beast is being implanted. The number 666 spoken of in the apocalypse, without which you can neither buy nor sell. It is already here. It is already being used by the international airlines to control and allow only privileged travelers because those who refuse the mark of the beast are forced to stay where they are. Those who do not accept government mandates for forced immunization are losing their jobs. They are losing the opportunity to enter many public places. They are being discriminated against in a new world already announced in Revelation 13, verses 16 to 18. Here, we are facing the reality of things as the Lord tells us in Ephesians 5, verse 14. Wake up, sleeper, arise from the dead. Let the light of Christ shine in your soul. Wake up, sleeper. Christ is calling you, brother or sister of faith. What is wrong with us? Are we playing down in the face of the great changes that we are having 
in the last eight years. The Church of Christ has divided. It has taken a new direction that does not represent the doctrine that Christ left us. The new doctrines are destroying the roof and the walls of the Catholic Church. Although the foundations can never be destroyed because they are laid on the blood of Christ. Jesus will always be with us in the Catholic Church until the end of time, but not with the present hierarchy. Jesus is still present in the sacraments, but these are increasingly being suppressed and profaned. The Church offends God with apostasy, blasphemy, heresy, idolatry, profanation, and sacrilege. The true Catholic Church shrank. Now it is in the heart of few priests and few faithful. That is their reality. Wake up, brother, and not wash your hands. Do not accept someone who agrees that pagan blood runs through the veins of Jesus. This was said by the head of the church, a church that has been sold out to Freemasonry with the universal brotherhood out of the blood of Christ. Si fratelli tutti, a church that has been handed over to the United Nations by participating in globalism and the perverse agenda of the United Nations. That is not the Catholic Church. That is the new Church of the Antichrist. So either you wake up or you remain asleep in the lethargy that will lead you to damnation. Wake up, brother, sister, or sleep eternally, accepting all that is happening. The word calls us to rise from the dead, to rise from the hypocrisy that surrounds us, rise from the world of evil in which you indirectly participate, rise and fight for Christ with your testimony, defend the commandments, defend morality, start at home. Don't be an accomplice of sin. Reject Satan in your life because the father of lies accommodates everything. He anesthetizes you from the pain of the soul before sin and camouflages the truth so that you are part of the lie in which we are living. God loves you. Your soul is so precious to Christ. And for that reason, he gave his life on the cross. Let us rise then from mediocrity. Let us look at everything in the light of Christ. And let us defend our faith. Let us defend our rights since they are based on the laws that were established by inspiration of the divine laws. Instead, the current laws rob us of the right to fulfill the commandments of God. Wake up, sleeper, arise from the dead. Let the light of Christ shine in your soul. Repent, brother or sister. Anything, however small you see it, with the help of the devil, is the poison of the soul, which crucifies Christ and leads to death, and will also lead your soul to eternal death if you do not wake up and live alert. Love the commandments, hate sin, reject all wickedness, live your life as a soldier of Christ, and the Lord will bless you now and eternally. Do not fall asleep. For the saying goes, a shrimp that falls asleep is carried away by the current, and the soul that sleeps in sin is carried away by the devil. Wake up, sleeper, arise from the dead, let the light of Christ illuminate your life. If you like this video, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, The Word of God, share on social networks, 
And do not forget to leave your valuable comments. So, what do you think? Are we going to continue sleeping? God bless you.